Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, something very special to me especially, hopefully to you guys as well. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment as well. Let's do this. Let's show you what I'm talking about. Okay then guys, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the Mad Scientist 0102 database. Just came out today. Come out yesterday or the day before on early release to his Patreon, so early access. This is the early access for you, but I'm recording on the day of release, and it's going out on the day of release as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the database, have a little look around things, and then we're going to sim five years into the future just to see what happens and how things go. So let's have a little look around it. I'm very, very excited because I started playing FM around this sort of era. So I can't exactly remember when, but it was around this sort of era. So we'll just click on this, go to the Premier League that way. There's one Sebastian Veron. Um, this is how the Premier League looks. It looks fairly similar to what it used to or it does look like today. A couple of changes. You've got um, Blackburn in there, Bolton, Charlton, Derby, um, Ipswich. Ugh, disgusting Ipswich in there. Uh, Middlesbrough are still in there, Sunderland, and then pretty much all the other same sort of clubs, really. Let's drop down into the championship. As you can see, still quite a few teams in the championship like they're there today. Um, the likes of Bradford still in the championship. Burnley not in there anymore. They're in the Prem. Uh, Crew, Gilliam, Grimsby, Manchester City in the championship. What a weird one that is. Look at their team. Darren Huckabee, Paolo Wanchop. Mad team that is. Uh, Portsmouth. Stockport in the championship as well. I didn't even realise they were in there. Who else you got? You got West Brom. Wolves sort of been in the championship there. That's just mad. Wolves. Before Wolves had their money and all their Portuguese connections. Just absolutely mental. Uh, we haven't got League One and like that stuff loaded. It's actually the second division. But look at that. Watford only just winning the second division a few years ago. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, let's have a little look. We'll go through the Premier League side. So I'm assuming most of the people watching these videos will support the larger sides so we'll just go through the, the teams in the uh, Premier League have a look at the players look what ones are good we'll do it by value what oh my gosh Patrick Vieira look how good he is absolutely insane only worth 16 million pounds the date up here still says 2020 you can't change the in-game clock on there so that's why it says that and it doesn't say 2001 but it's all the stuff like that Thierry Henry Absolutely insane player. Look at the state of him. So, so good. Robert Perez, 28 years old. Sol Campbell, only 26 years old. Carnu Wiltor, Burkamp. The legend that is Burkamp. How that man's first touch is only 16, I'll never know. Uh, Ashley Cole, a 20-year-old Ashley Cole. Look how good he is. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst, Lundberg. Ray Parler, before the, well, I'll say before the drinking. Probably when the drinking was happened. Let's have a little look who else we've got in here. Uh, Francis Jeffers, the fox in the box. We'll go to Aston Villa now and have a look at their team. Uh, don't know who that is. Catch it all there. Gareth Barry, Olaf Melberg, Dion Dublin. Legend is Dion Dublin, ex Norwich legend. Uh, let's have a look at some other players. Uh, Blackburn Rovers, this is before they got relegated and sort of went to pot. Brad Friedel, still 30 years old at this point. Damien Duff, only 22 years old. Great, great player. Uh, Bolton Wanderers. I mean, what a team they had back then. They used to bully people for fun. Was their manager Sam Allardyce? It was. Sam Allardyce is there. Kevin Nolan's there. Charlton Athletic. I'm assuming this is when Alan Kirbishley was there. Yes, it is. Uh, Luke Young. Klaus Jensen. Jason Yule. Sean Bartlett. What a player he was. Paul Koncheski, only 20 years old. Chelsea. Oh, what a team they had. This is before the, uh, the money they had as well, really. I think... This might have been a year or two before they got the uh, takeover. I think it was about a year or two before. So you've got Hasselbank, Desai, what a player he was. Uh, Emmanuel Petit, Di Matteo. What a team. Good Johnson. Frank Lampard, only 23 years old. I think that was this was the year he moved. Yeah, he's just moved. Frank Lampard there. Zola, 35 years old. What a player he was. Derby County. This I'm not sure. This may be the year they had the record worst points. I'm not 100% sure. But not a great team. They've got Fabrizio Ravinelli. What a player he was to silver Silverhead Fox. <laughs> Just so many good players in here. Dion Burton. What a player he was from Jamaica. And Daryl Powell. Two Jamaicans in the Premier League there. Everton, they had big Duncan Ferguson. Gravison. David Weir. Abel Xavier. What a player he was. Oh, this is absolutely brilliant. The, the, honestly, the nostalgia you get by playing this is just incredible. Louis Saha, Van der Sar for Fulham. 
Was that the year he joined from Juventus? It was indeed. £7 million. What a bargain, even back in them days. Boa Morte. Just some great, great players. Ugh, Ipswich, we won't even look at them. Uh, Harry Gill. Rio Ferdinand for Leeds. Mark Viduka. Ian Hart. Lucas Radibi. 21-year-old Robbie Keane. That is absolutely rapid forward. I've, not even, I've never seen that media description before. Rapid forward. Lee Bowyer. Jonathan Woodgate. Oh, Alan Smith. He was a great player as well. Uh, who else we got on here? Leicester City. I mean, no one you'd even recognise from this, like, the 2021 squad. Obviously, 20 years. It's a big gap, so, yeah, obviously. But just amazing. Darren Eady, the ex-Norwich legend. I think that might have been one of the years he left. No, three years pro previous he left. Okay, that's fine. Muzzy, is it? What a player. Uh, Liverpool. Michael Owen. Robbie Fowler. A 21-year-old Steven Gerrard and a 21-year-old Michael Owen. Just incredible. Jamie Redknapp still there. He's transfer listed as well for some reason. Only 1.9 million as well for a good player like him. Marcus Babel. John Arna Risa. Carragher. 23 years old. Jamie Carragher. Worth £925,000. Then the team that everyone will love or hate, depending on what you think. Manchester United. That You know how good they were in the late 90s, early 2000s. They were dominant. But look at their team. David Beckham. Look how good he is. 23 kicks. Roy Keane. An absolute monster. Ryan Giggs, what a player he was as well. Veron, York, Bartez, Paul Scholes, only 26 in his prime. Andy Cole, Van Nistelrooy. That must have been the year he went there. That is the year Van Nistelrooy went there, so he will rip things up as well. Solskjaer, Gary Neville, Nicky Butt. Obviously, Solskjaer, the manager of Manchester United now, 20 years later. Just insane. Quinton Fortune. Just so, uh, Dennis Irwin, still 35 years old. What a player he was as well. We have a look at Middlesbrough. Gareth Southgate is their most expensive player. What a player he was back in the day as well. Really, really good. Um, Alan Shearer for Newcastle. Kieran Dyer. Let's have a look at Shearer. Only 9 acceleration and 12 pace, but he, that man could probably play target, man. What a player he was. <laughs> Nobby Solano. What a player. Lauren Robert. This is just... Oh, Gary Speed. RIP Gary Speed. What a player he was as well. Southampton, we've got Marion Pahas, Rory Delap. I did not even I didn't actually know he played for them. 19 long throws. Did they even know about Rory Delap's long throws when he was at Southampton? Or did he develop that later in his career? I don't know. Get that in the comments if you know. Uh Thomas Sorensen for Sunderland. Kevin Phillips. Absolutely great players. Tottenham before they had a really good team, really. They had Red Rov, Carr, Ziga, Neil Sullivan, Anderton, Poyet. Gus Poyet, I did not know he was Uruguayan. Someone correct me. Is he is he Uruguayan? I thought he was... Is he not Italian? I thought Gus Poyet was Italian. I'm not sure. Someone let me know in the comments if that is the case. Tim Sherwood. Gary Docky, the, the Ginger Pele. West Ham United. Paolo Di Canio. Wanted by Atalanta United. What a player he was. Absolute brilliant player. 20 flair. I agree. 20 flair. Brilliant player. Canute, Joe Cole, Trevor Sinclair, David James, 20-year-old Michael Carrick. Look how good he is. That is an insane player. Ian Pearce as well. Wow. Jermaine Defoe, only 18 years old before he went on to score many, many goals. That is the Premier League. Should we have a little look at the uh, the player search? If we go in here, who are the top, top players on this database? Let's have a little look. Wow, the most valuable player in this database is Francesco Totti. I mean, wow, look at the state of him. Absolutely insane. Another Italian player, Christian Vieri, elite striker. Just insane attributes. Absolutely insane. Figo, Sedan, Rivaldo. Oh, Rivaldo. I remember watching Rivaldo back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. He was such a pleasure to watch. Raul, only 24 years old, 20 finishing. Shevchenko, what a player he was as well before he left Milan. Didn't quite do the same at uh, Chelsea. We've seen Beckham already. Nesta, an absolute rock in the back, 25 years old. Del Piero as well, what a player he was. Rui Costa, I completely forgot about him. I forgot he was even a thing. Hernan Crespo, 26 years old, what a player he was. That was when he was at Lazio. I'm pretty sure. Did he not go to Inter Milan after this? I think he went to Inter Milan after that. Buffon, only 23 years old. And he's still playing now, don't forget. I don't think out of any of these players, he might be the only one on this list that still plays today. Roberto Carlos. Fabio Cannavaro. What a player he was. 
won the uh, Ballon d'Or. One of the, I think he was the last defender to win it. Pavel Nedved, great player. Roy Keane we've seen. Mark Overmars, rapid on the wing. 19 acceleration, 19 pace. Saviola, only 19 years old at Barcelona. Edgar Davies, what a player. The pit bull. Mendy at Alilian Turam. Just some of these players. It's such good nostalgia to play this database, guys. Like, I really suggest you go over there. Show the mad scientist some love. We will leave his links in the description of this video as well. Batastuta, 32 years old, but what a player he was. Just so many good players on here. Gattuso, he was the bulldog. What a player he was. Uh, Marcelo Salos, Salas. Cloud Makaleli before he went to Chelsea. I didn't realise he was so old when he went to Chelsea because he's 28 years old here. And I think he left like a year or two later. So, yeah, he was uh, he was quite old there. Oliver Kahn, an absolute legend German goalkeeper. Look at how many attributes he's got for 20. That's absolutely mad. So, uh, what we're going to do now, though, guys, is as we've seen, I mean, Andy Cole as well. I forgot to look at him. What we're going to do now, we're going to sim five years in the future. Check how things develop and see how like true to real life this database is. I'm sure it's going to be completely different. I don't expect it to be the same, but it will just be interesting to see what would happen if we could have that time again in the world of FM21. So we're going to do that now. I will see you guys in a second. Let's go five years in the future. Here we are then, folks. We are in the year 2025, which is equivalent to 2006, if my maths is correct. Let's go have a little look. Let's see how the Premier Division has gone on. The Premier League, as you can see, it's been pretty much dominated by Manchester United. They won four out of the five titles. Liverpool winning the last one. So very, very good stuff from them. Let's go have a look and see how Liverpool did this season. Just this season, we'll have a little look. Um, we've gone a bit too far into August, so we'll go back. They did lose the Charity Shield to Manchester United. Uh, let's go actually have a look at the Champions League, actually. While we're here, we'll go look and see who's won the Champions League. Real Madrid, Inter, Juventus, Manchester United and Roma. So very, very different there. We also should have had a World Cup. I'm interested to see what would have happened with that. Who won the World Cup? Argentina won the 2022 World Cup. That is very interesting. Should we see who won the European Championships? And we'll also go look at the FA Cup and stuff like that. Uh, okay, Czech Republic and Italy. Italy won the 2021, Czech Republic won 2024. That's interesting. Who have they actually got on their team? Because back in the day, they had some very, very good players. Thomas Rizicki, I mean, he's only 25 years old now, so he must have been around 21, 20, 20 at the time. Nedved's 33. Czech, Milan Barosh, great, great teams. Let's go have a look at the FA Cup and see who won that. And I'm not sure how to get there, so let's just go this way and do it like this. Um, schedule, uh, let's go back. I'm assuming they might have been in the final. They was not. Quarter final, here we go. Past winners. Man United won it two years in a row, and then three years on the bounce, Liverpool winning it. Absolutely incredible. You do love to see it being at Millennium Stadium as well in Cardiff. That is quite a little throwback as well. I myself went to a game there for the um, playoff final for Norwich against Birmingham. Very, very interesting. Let's look at the Premier League now. Let's see who is in the Premier League. Um... Liverpool, Chelsea, United, Southampton, Blackburn, Tottenham, Arsenal, Manchester City have been doing very well. They won the division uh, championship the first year, 10th the next year, then 7th, then 8th, then 11th. So they've dropped down a little bit. A very different looking side than what they've got. Uh, Charlton in the relegation zone, Wolves, Bolton, Coventry, Leicester, Villa, Sunderland, Ipswich in the Premier League still. Everton, Wimbledon, absolutely smashing it. I'm not sure where they were. They were in the English first division. And they just rose steadily and then went up through the playoffs last year. So very good. Alan Kerbishley, their manager now. We're going to take a look at some of the transfers now. We'll go to the very first year. We'll do the most expensive ones on there. As you can see, Robert Perez went to Barcelona for 14 million. Very cheap. He's only 33 years old now. And he's not even at Barcelona anymore. Uh, Gustavo, Gustavo Lopez went to Arsenal for 13 million. Uh, Salomon Olombe to Everton. Christian Kivu from Ajax to Inter. Uh, George, I don't know who that is, went to Roma. Brett Emerton went to PSV. This is some absolute throwbacks here. Kim Kalstrom, a very young Kim, Kim Kalstrom, I might add. Eight, probably about 18 years old at the time. Milan Barros went to Juventus. Jason Roberts, oh, what a player he was. Some very good teams in here, very good players. Uh, let's go to the year after that. Estian Cambiasso went from Real Madrid. Was he actually at Real Madrid then? 
Uh, no, sorry, he went from Man United. Um, no, he went, yeah, from Real Madrid. How did Este... How did Cambiasso end up at Real Madrid? I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, he, there we go. He was there for a year. Went to River on loan and then to Man... The River, the River Plate thing threw me off there. That confused me. But he's uh, he went to Man United for 58 million. Rio Ferdinand went to... Um, Real Madrid from Leeds. Samuelso went from Mallorca to AC Milan. He can't be very old at this point, I don't think. Well, he would been 20 years old, or 21 years old at the time. Filippo Inzaghi to Real Madrid. Uh, Gerard went to Juventus. Van der Vaart to Arsenal. Fabio Cannavaro went to Roma. Tacanardi went to Barcelona from Juventus. Daniel Benera. Oh my gosh, I forgot about him. I remember him from back in the day. He was a class centre back. Joe Cole from West Ham to Arsenal. Philip Mexes also there to Lazio. Wayne Bridge to Liverpool. Gareth Barry to Chelsea. John Arnarisa went to Milan from Liverpool. Some absolute mad signings in here. Some of them are very, very good. Uh, Robbie Keane from Leeds to Juventus. David Trezeguet to Valencia. Sammy Huppio went to Real Madrid. That is an absolute class. Uh, Ariel Ortega to Lazio. Some very, very good signings here. Didier Zakora to Newcastle. Very, very interesting signings there. Let's go to the next season, season three. Mendieta to Real Madrid for 97 million. We're nearly breaking the 100 million mark now. We've gone from 58 to 97. We're very close to breaking 100 million. Ryan Giggs actually left Manchester United and went to Roma, and he's now at Newcastle. So he has obviously left and come, gone there and then come back to the Premier League. Insane considering he obviously never left in real life. Uh, Patrick Vieira from Arsenal to Real Madrid. Walter Samuel from Roma to Liverpool. Edgar Davids to Liverpool is a great one. Cliver from Barcelona to Liverpool. Liverpool making some very good signings there. Uh, Pablo Aymar to Arsenal. Ronald Dinho to Manchester United. So he finally got his move to United. Um, PSG, he was there for two years. Then went to Man United for three years. And as you can see, he did nearly break the 100 million mark by going to Real Madrid for £99 million. Rui Costa went to Chelsea. Luke Chadwick to Chelsea for 37 million. That's an interesting one. I didn't think I'd see that. Um, Christian Vieri from Inter to United. That's a great signing from them. He'd have been around 27 years old at the time, I think, something like that then. Daniel Bonera, Christian Kivu. Max has moved on again. Thomas Rosicki. Some absolute brilliant signings here. Some really good ones. Owen Hargreaves went to Dortmund. John Arnarisa moving on again to back to Leeds this time. Damien Delaney, I remember him from his uh, Ipswich days, I do believe. Am I correct in saying that? I'm pretty sure he went to Ipswich at some point. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, we're going to move to the year 2023 now. Uh, Javier Saviola breaking the 100 million mark. The first ever 100 million pound signing in the world at this point from Barca to Liverpool. Raul went from uh, Real Madrid to United. That's a very big transfer. Kevin Hofland. That name rings a bell. I can't think who he played for, though. I vaguely remember his name, but I can't remember him completely. Uh, Michael Owen from Liverpool to Real Madrid, exactly like the real-life transfer. Uh, Zambrotta to Barcelona. I'm pretty sure he went to Barcelona at some point as well. Van der Vaart, Wilfred Boomer, uh, Pablo Marchena, Lucio going to Bayern Munich. Mex says it moving on again. So that's the third club he's been at, Lazio, Leeds and Milan. Uh, Harry Kuehl, Van Bommel, Iniesta going to Manchester City. How does he turn out? Because he looks like a very good player. Only 22 years old. Look how good he is. Robbie Keane, Gareth Barry. Some absolute mad ones. Clarence Seydorf going to Arsenal. He's only 30 years old as well at this point. Radol. Oh, so many good ones here. Rocky Santa Cruz moving along. Just absolutely insane. Michael Essien going to Newcastle. He's only 23 years old. He's now at Manchester City. Very, very good player as well. There's going to be a lot of good players on this. There's an elite, elite centre-back, it said there, which is very interesting considering he was always primarily a midfielder. Um, again, this is where we see Ronaldinho has moved to Real Madrid for 99 million. Agahawa from Deportivo to Real Madrid, 95 million pounds. Wow. Emerson from Roma to Arsenal. Kaka, first time we've seen his name, 77 million to Leeds. What, what an interesting sign that is. Bayern Munich are now trying to get him. Leeds are looking like they're going to sell him. Uh, Walter Samuel to Barcelona. Iron Robin went from Man United to Juventus for 55 million. That's the first time we've seen him on this list. Cambiasso from Man U to Roma. Rio Ferdinand moving on from Real Madrid to Juventus. Ashley Cole moved to Barcelona. Claudio Pizarro to Barcelona. Just so many good transfers here. I love to see this. And then in the final year, 
Javier Saviola, the first £100 million man, moving on for £90 million to Chelsea. Samuel Eto'o going to Leeds and Rodol going to Leeds. Cristiano Ronaldo, the first time we've seen him pop up. He started at... It looks like he was... Uh, I don't know how this works. I'm assuming he's been moved back to Sporting. And then he went to Juventus for £16 million and then to Bayern for £46 million. So very interesting. Gareth Barry moving on again. Cassano. Iniesta going to PSG. James Milner moving from Leeds to Newcastle. Again, another real-life transfer. So that's two we've seen now. I'm sure there is more, but that's the only ones we've seen. Ashley Cole going to Juventus from Barca. Fernando Torres, first time we've seen him, moving to Arsenal for £28 million. How does he look now as well? Let's have a little look at him. 22 years old, very young at the start of the game, already an elite striker. One of my favourite strikers of all time, I think. When he was in form at Liverpool, he was a great, great player. Uh, Landon Donovan going from Everton to Manchester United. He actually went to Everton at some point IRL as well. I think he went on loan uh, in one January transfer window for a couple of seasons. David Beckham getting his move from Manchester United to Barcelona for around the same sort of fee he went to Real Madrid for as well. So kind of realistic, but just the wrong club. Cleberson <laughs> going to Bayern Munich. He actually Man United legend. So yeah, very interesting. Chiellini in there. I see him in there. Giggs moving to Newcastle. Uh, Lucas Podolski, Nigel, Nigel de Jong. Is that Danny Alves? That is Danny Alves going to Liverpool. He went to Juventus, then to Leeds, then to Liverpool. Doesn't look like he's developed as well as he did in real life, to be fair. Uh, Keshman, another great, great striker. Luis Suarez. Where was he, you know, one? He was at Nacional still. He's gone to Monaco on a free, so you might be able to pick him up. If you play this database, you might be able to pick him up for fairly cheap. He then moves on to Atletico Madrid for 16.75. He's still only a wonder. He's 19 years old, so what, is he 14 years old at the start of this game? That is absolutely insane. I am thinking about doing a save for YouTube with this database because I think it would be quite fun. I do want to check one thing. How have my team, Norwich City, got on? The Mighty Yellows. They have not done great by all accounts. 13th, 8th, 5th, 13th, and then 5th again. So they've got playoffs two years in a, or two, two years out of this. Uh, let's have a little look and see how they got in the playoffs. They lost in the playoff final to Wimbledon. That is very frustrating. Uh, two years before that, they lost in the playoff to Derby in the semi-finals. They never quite made the final. Who have they got in their side? They've got Billy Sharp. Absolute legend. Exchanged him for someone. No idea who. Uh, let's go through the whole team. Billy Sharp, Todorov, Lee Croft is still there. Kind of crazy that some of these players are here. Have they still got anyone in their youth team? They've got Ian Henderson, born just down the road from where I'm from. Uh, no one in here. I can see Lee Batty. I don't think that's the Lee Batty. No, that's Dave. I'm thinking of David Bay. Ignore me. So, yeah, some very, very interesting changes there, guys. I am going to do a save with this database. Please. In the comments, let me know who you want me to manage, what wonder kids you want me to, to bring into this team. I will do that on YouTube, and I'll bring you the episode in the next few days. So make sure you comment. Remember, guys, if you did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can see when the next video goes live and you never miss a video. Appreciate you watching, guys. I'll see you in the year 2001 very, very soon. Peace.